The House of Representatives has stated the condition under which its members would appear before the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission over the alleged padding of last year's budget. Reps say their invitation over the alleged 284 billion naira budget padding should be routed through Speaker Yakubu Dogara. Well, let's talk more about this now, and we are joined by development consultant Catch Ananuju. Thank you for your time on TVC News this time. Now, it seems this is a delayed tactic. Do you believe so? Oh, well, they are, if you ask me, they are trying to say that. Uh, it is the business of the house and uh, if there are issues arising from the business of the house if uh, letters originate they should come to the house and the right way to come to the house is to come through the speaker of the house that's what they are saying in principle that they should be written properly and the proper letter put they will answer to is a letter rooted to the speaker house of representatives of the Republic of Nigeria. Now, but does that have anything to do with uh, the outcome of any investigation by the EFCC, even if they are invited individually? After all, they were voted by the people of their various uh, regions uh, to represent them, uh, the country at large. So why should the speaker be the one to say that, okay, you can go for this investigation or not? Well, the speaker is the business manager of the house, is the leader of the house. If uh, uh, they are being invited as a consequence of the job could they have done, in this case, they say it is legislation to which one of them has gone to report that uh, there were pardons and that uh, the EFCC is now saying those pardons uh, are criminal acts that uh, uh, do require further investigation. So that's why they are thinking that they shouldn't be invited individually for their work they should be invited as members of the House of Representatives. So if they're members of the House, they insist that the business of the House, and they believe that the head of the House, who did that, who signed off on that legislation, is the Speaker. So you want to invite, invite the Speaker, and he will bring who he used for any particular issue, because the Speaker, it is who did allocate functions and issues uh, about making those budgets. And that's why they are insisting that since you want to invite the house, invite the house through the leadership of the house. And this is getting more interesting, knowing that uh, the members of the National Assembly do not enjoy constitutional immunity. Are you hopeful that uh, the EFCC would be able to get uh, something done effectively here? Well, I think if the EFCC wants to arrest them, nothing stops EFCC from arresting them since they do not have immunity. This is what uh, a lot of uh, people are saying. But uh, maybe EFCC wants to follow peacefully, to have peace with the House, uh, because they also have, do have a case that if they are seen to have committed an offence in conduct of the business of the House, that the House should be called as one. That's actually what they are going to. But uh, we shall wait to see how the EFCC will behave and who blinks first. But then the matter rages on the issue of uh, the National Assembly having the right to pad uh, the budget given to it by the executive. I recall just recently the acting president, Yemi Oshimba, just said something like that. And the lawmakers are still angry over that. Well, this is the legislation. What EFCC is saying legislation is wrong. The executive, before they sign a legislation, they should read through it. So once you've signed it, whether it is mistaken or not, it is taken as an act of parliament. So the FCC is only saying that some of those parliament uh, acts when properly done. This is known across the world as POC. Legislators do do insertions in it. It behoves on the executive to read through the papers and do proper cross-checking before they do append their signature. Because once you sign, it might be defective, but it's still taken as a law of the land. Catch Ananuju, development consultant. Thank you for your analysis. Thanks for having me. We have more stories for you on the news. Stay with us. After the break, we'll continue.